Hi class, today I'm going to show you how to design your first program. Um, this lesson will not require any coding. We are just in the design process and in the creative process. Um, what you need to do is you need to start asking yourself uh, very specific types of questions such as uh, mostly yes or no questions. Uh, our processes that we are going to try for now are not going to store too much information, but we can remember um, small things. And so what I would like to do is I'm going to come up with an idea on how to successfully wake up and get to school. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just write out my process and I'm going to ask myself a lot of yes and no questions. So we start up by um, being in bed and we need to get up, get ready, and go to school. So um, is an alarm clock going off? No, go back to bed. Yes, have you hit snooze? No, hit snooze, hit the snooze button. Yes, get out of bed. Um, and go to the bathroom to brush your teeth. Um, Do you have a toothbrush and toothpaste? No. Open the drawer and get the toothbrush and toothpaste. Apply the toothpaste. Is there enough? Yes, brush teeth. Have you been brushing for three minutes? No, continue to brush, yes, rinse your mouth. Did you shower last night? Yes, walk to the to your bedroom. To get dressed. No. Take a shower. Um, have you been showering? for 10 minutes. No, continue to shower. Yes, get out of shower. Are you dry? No, 
towel off. Yes. Go to the bedroom to get dressed. Um, I'm going to finish up kind of quickly at this point. Uh, are you dressed? And here at this point, I could go into more details, but for um, sake of this video, I'm going to say um, yes, go to school, no, get dressed. Um, so uh, we can go into more detail and less detail. And when you're doing design, it really, there, there is no proper answer on how much detail do you need. It depends on what you are trying to accomplish. Um, if you think of things in like video games, uh, there are some games where you're paying attention to small little details and you're doing very little overall, but that's the game. And then there are some things where you care more about big picture things. And that's the same with pretty much all software. So um, there's no specific amount of um, detail that I can recommend or not recommend for this assignment. I want enough detail. I want you to ask a lot of yes or no questions. And in the assignment, I will say like a minimum of X number of questions and that you can find in your uh, classroom assignment. Uh, once you are done coming up with this, you, you will hand this piece in. And then the, the second thing you're gonna do is you're going to make a flow chart. So you can come to, uh, to Lucid Charts, which is the best flow chart, free flowchart app I have found. And you are just going to, you can see that there's a whole bunch of little uh, bubbles and stuff and they all have different meanings. You're gonna look at the process, the decision, the, and the terminators, and that's it. You're not gonna do anything else for this assignment. Um, there are other things, but I'm gonna delete these and we're gonna say start. Now, um, I want to name this going to school. Never make a Google Doc and leave it untitled. Um, so that will be part of your grade. And so now I'm going to ask, is the alarm clock going off? So it, right here, we're going to have a decision. I'm going to put a decision. I'm going to say, is an alarm, A-L-A-R-M, going off. Um, this might be a little hard to see uh, in the in the video, but I, I just wrote, is an, an alarm going off? And then yes. And then I'm going to put another box. Uh, sorry, not another box. Let's do that again. Is an alarm going off? And I'm going to go to another decision. Yes. And what was my decision? Um, Have you hit snooze? So here I'm going to say, have you hit snooze? Um, and here I'm going to say, this is for no. Um, and what I want to do is I want to bring it back to itself. So um, you have start. Is an alarm going off? No. Is an alarm going off? No. Is an alarm going off? No. Yes, have you hit snooze? And here, I'm gonna say yes. Um, get out of bed. And, um, actually I should have brought that from. I, I don't want, you're gonna try to um, not have um, overlapping. So we say yes, get out of bed, and then no, I just had to move that so no could wrap into itself. No, have you hit snooze? Um, and actually, is that what we wrote for? Uh, no, go back to bed. Sorry, so what we're gonna do here, we are gonna say no. And then this is just a process. Go back to bed. And then there's only one thing that can happen. Um, we're going to come back to here and ask if the alarm's going off. So we start, is an alarm going off? No, you keep sleeping. 
Yes, have you hit snow snooze? No, go back to, uh, I think you probably had said hit snooze and go back to bed, but um, yeah, hit the snooze button. So change this to hit snooze and go back to bed. Um, and then that's gonna bring us all the way back to the beginning, checking if an alarm's going off. And then yes, have you hit snooze? Yes, get out of bed. And then we are gonna continue with this process and we're gonna make this flow chart um, using just squares, uh, diamonds, and ovals. Um, we're gonna follow along our, our little tutorial here to put together how to do a process. And you're going to come up with your own process or use one of the defined ones that I've given you. Um, so that's how you do your assignment and I hope this is helpful and uh, good luck.